Do you love watching Korean dramas and movies? Have you ever wondered what happened to some of your favorite actors who suddenly disappeared from the screen? You may be shocked to learn that they were blocked by the powerful forces in the entertainment industry for various reasons. Where is blacklisted Park Yu Chun now? is a question that some fans of Korean dramas and movies may have. Park Yu Chun is a Korean American singer songwriter and actor who was a former member of the popular boy bands TVXQ and JYJ. The entertainment industry blocked him after he was involved in several scandals and controversies such as drug abuse, sexual assault, and contract disputes. According to the reports, Park Yu Chun is currently facing a legal battle with his former agency Resiello, which claims that he violated their exclusive contract by signing with another agency in Japan. Resiello filed a lawsuit against Park Yu Chun and obtained an injunction from the court that prohibits him from appearing on TV and engaging in any entertainment activities with other agencies until a final ruling is made. Park Yu Chun requested the court to cancel the injunction, but his request was rejected. This means that Park Yu Chun will not be able to make a comeback in the entertainment industry anytime soon. Park Yu Chun was supposed to star in an independent film called On the Edge, which has already won several awards at international film festivals. However, the film's release in Korea is now uncertain due to the court's ruling. Park Yu Chun has not made any official statement or update on his social media accounts since the lawsuit was filed. He has also lost many of his fans and supporters due to his tarnished reputation and image. Kim Hyun Ju is a popular actress who starred in many hit dramas such as Glass Slippers, Boys Over Flowers, and I Have a Lover. She was blacklisted by the former president of South Korea Park Geun Hye and her close associate Choi Soon Sil, who were involved in a massive corruption scandal that led to Park's impeachment in 2017. Kim Hyun Ju was one of the celebrities who signed a petition calling for Park's resignation in 2016, which angered Choi Soon Sil, who had a lot of influence over the media and entertainment industry. Kim Hyun Ju was then excluded from appearing on TV and film projects, and her agency Key East terminated her contract without any explanation. Kim Hyun Ju filed a lawsuit against Key East, claiming that they breached their contract and violated her rights. She also revealed that she received threats and harassment from unknown sources after signing the petition. She is currently one of the most acclaimed and respected actresses in Korea and has won many awards for her performances. Kim Sang-kyung is a versatile actor who has appeared in various genres of films and dramas such as Memories of Murder, The King and the Clown, and The Great King, Sejong. He was blacklisted by the former president of South Korea, Lee Myung-bak, who was in office from 2008 to 2013. Kim Sang-kyung was one of the outspoken critics of Lee's policies, especially his controversial plan to build a canal across the country, which environmentalists and citizens widely opposed. Kim Sang-kyung participated in protests and rallies against the canal project and expressed his opinions on social media and in interviews. He also refused to attend the Blue House the presidential residence when he was invited as a representative of the cultural sector. As a result, he was banned from appearing on public broadcasting channels such as KBS, NBC, and SBS, and was offered only minor roles in low-budget films and dramas. Kim Sang-kyung did not give up on his activism and continued to support various causes such as human rights, democracy, and justice. He is currently one of the most admired and influential actors in Korea and has received many accolades for his work. Kim Ji-hoon is a handsome actor who rose to fame with his roles in dramas such as Golden Time, Flower Boy Next Door, and Jang Boy Ri Is Here. He was blacklisted by the powerful agency SM Entertainment, which is known for managing some of the most popular idols and actors in Korea, such as EXO, Girls' Generation, and Lee Min Ho. Kim Ji-hoon was originally a trainee under SM Entertainment and was supposed to debut as a member of a boy group but he decided to leave the agency and pursue acting instead. He also revealed that he was mistreated and abused by the agency and that he suffered from depression and anxiety because of his experience. He also accused SM Entertainment of interfering with his career and preventing him from getting good roles and opportunities. Kim Ji-hoon faced a lot of difficulties and obstacles in his acting career and was often overshadowed by other actors who SM Entertainment backed. Kim Ji-hoon did not let these challenges stop him, he continued to work hard and improve his skills. 
He also diversified his portfolio and ventured into other fields such as musicals, radio and variety shows. He is currently one of the most talented and charming actors in Korea and has a loyal fan base that supports him. Lee Seung Ji is a multi-talented entertainer who is known for his singing, acting and hosting skills. He has starred in many popular dramas such as Brilliant Legacy, My Girlfriend is a Gumi Ho and Vagabond. He was blacklisted by the former president of South Korea Park Kyun Hye and her close associate Choi Soon Sil, who were involved in a massive corruption scandal that led to Park's impeachment in 2017. Lee Seung Ji was one of the celebrities who donated money to the Sewol Ferry Disaster Relief Fund, which was a fund that was set up to help the victims and families of the tragic sinking of a ferry in 2014. The fund was opposed by Park and Choi, who tried to cover up the incident and manipulate public opinion. Lee Seung Ji was then targeted by Park and Choi, who tried to ruin his reputation and career. He was accused of being involved in a tax evasion scheme and was investigated by the authorities. He was also excluded from appearing on TV and film projects and his agency Hook Entertainment was pressured to drop him. Lee Seung Ji did not let these attacks affect him and cooperated with the investigation, which cleared him of any wrongdoing. He also completed his mandatory military service and returned to the entertainment industry with a bang. He appeared in several hit dramas such as A Korean Odyssey, Mouse and Hometown Cha Cha Cha. He also hosted several successful shows such as Master in the House, All the Butlers and Sing Again. He is currently one of the most popular and respected entertainers in Korea and has won many awards for his achievements. Kim Tae Hee is a beautiful actress who is considered one of the most iconic stars in Korea. She has appeared in many classic dramas such as Stairway to Heaven, Love Story in Harvard and Iris. She was blacklisted by the powerful agency SM Entertainment, which is known for managing some of the most popular idols and actors in Korea such as EXO, Girls' Generation and Lee Min Ho. SM Entertainment blacklisted Kim Tae Hee because of her relationship with Rain, who is a singer and actor who was also under SM Entertainment. Rain and Kim Tae Hee started dating in 2012 and announced their relationship to the public in 2013. However, SM Entertainment was not happy with their relationship and tried to break them up. SM Entertainment also tried to sabotage Kim Tae Hee's career and prevented her from getting good roles and opportunities. Kim Tae Hee faced a lot of criticism and hate from some of the fans of SM Entertainment, who accused her of being a gold digger, a bad influence and a traitor. Kim Tae Hee did not let these negative comments bother her and continued to love and support Rain. She also continued to act in quality dramas such as Young Pal, The Gang Doctor and Hi Bye Mama. She also married Rain in 2017 and had two daughters with him. She is currently one of the most successful and happy actresses in Korea, has a loving family and has a solid career. As you have watched, the blacklisted Korean actors have faced many hardships and obstacles in their careers, but they have also shown their courage and determination to overcome them. However, their stories are not over yet. Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.